Good morning. Today we are going to do a in the hoop thin blue line coin purse. Okay, so I'm gonna hoop tear away stabilizer, and the st stabilizer I'm gonna use is this. You want a kind of heavy weight because of all the satin stitch in that. I'm gonna use two layers of this. So I'm gonna hoop my stabilizer. Loosen it up so then I can tighten it there. Get it all down there. Problem most people have is they have this so tight when they're trying to push their thing shut, it'll break it. Well, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to have it loose, then use this to tighten it. You know, make sure your stabilizer or fabric snug. So now that that's all set, we're going to send it over to the machine and do the tack down stitch. Okay, it's did my placement stitch, and now I'm going to take my zipper and center it zip side up. All I have is this really long zipper, so zip side up and center it evenly between the lines. Okay, and then tape it in place. Okay, you want it nice and straight and even. Tape it in place, send it over to the machine, do the zipper tack down okay okay once your zipper's tacked down you may want to occasionally go on the back and trim any you know random threads off so uh they're not on the inside of your little coin purse okay so now you're going to take your vinyl and you're going to tuck it up snug to the zipper making sure you're over the bottom of your peak there and you know covering all the outline Snug it up to the zipper, tape it in place, and go tack it down. Okay, it's tacked down the left side. Now I don't want to do the right side. So you're going to take a piece of vinyl and snug it right up to the zipper again. Tape it in place and go do that tack down. Okay. Okay, both sides are tacked down. Now it's going to do go and do the blue line through there and the back the blue wording however for um, video purposes I am not going to stitch the back the blue also this is the second video I started on this one the directions say to trim the zipper and this at this point before that however my experience is to do it after I've tacked the back on because on the last one <laughs> I went to move the zipper and zipped it right off the end. So I had to start all over. So it is your choice. As long as you're careful, you can trim this all out now, but I'm going to wait till after I put the back on. I'll show you in a few minutes. Okay, it's did my uh, blue line and my machine has tension issues, which is nothing new for my Husqvarna Viking. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to do a little trimming back here, get rid of these extra things. Okay, and the next step is to turn it over, cover the back of the design with your vinyl, tape it in place. Okay, and it's going to do the tack down. Make sure your zipper is opened at this point because otherwise it'll stitch across it and you won't be able to open your zipper. So make sure your zipper is open now and then send it over the machine to do the tack down stitch. Okay, now that it's tacked the back on and everything, this is when I like to trim everything up. Okay, so I'm going to trim the back first. You can trim it however and whenever you want, but as I said, experience tells me, yeah, I'll wait to the end so I don't think, oh, the zipper needs to be moved, and then move the zipper and unzip it off the actual zipper. Okay, I'll turn it over, and in case you're wondering, yeah, there was the first one. No pull zipper. 
<laughs> okay, now we'll trim the front the same. Once I have the vinyl all trimmed, that's when I go and I trim the uh, zipper. Trim it right up to right up to the vinyl of the zipper. And in case I didn't tell you, you do need to use a vinyl zipper, not a metal zipper. Okay, then I'll use my other scissors to snip that. Or try to anyway. <laughs> and the same down here. Okay. Okay. Now I'll send it over the machine and it'll do the satin stitch. All the satin trim is done front and back you can do any trip clipping up that you need then remove it from the hoop as such just like that now there are a couple ways to clean up the edges this is a hot knife you can go around the edges if I have a lot to do I would use the hot knife otherwise <laughs> handy dandy tool is a lighter and I just go around the edges and I burn off my excess uh, stabilizer, little threads or what have you, like so. This might be a little more dangerous for some people, but you know, it just depends on how you wanna do it. Hot knife, the hot knife tool works great. So now unzip your zipper all the way. And Oh, wait, I have a thread there I forgot to cut, obviously. I can see it there. Er. And I see it there. hate when that happens. Okay, now unzip this and then oh, take your tear away. Sometimes there may be a little stitch inside there. You know, that goes from one side to the other. Okay. So, and then remove your stabilizer from inside the zipper like so. And there you go. Okay, so now I have these things. These are called Clever Delights. I buy them on Amazon. It'll go right on the corner there. And here's, it come. you can buy these pliers separate if you want. I just kind of press them in place, make sure my placement's right before I squeeze them shut. And then, and there is a front and a back to these things. See, the back has them little holes. You don't want that on the front of your thing. Trust me, I did that on one of mine. I'm like, gosh darn it, Jim. So then just push it shut. And there you go. There's your uh, thin blue line coin purse. Okay, thank you.